Well, here we are in May of 2016 at one of our top growers in Chardonnay, and it's also already beginning a great, great spring. Uh, the French have an expression, May makes the wine. The reason behind that is because May is probably the most critical moment in the whole growing season. That includes harvest. Why is May so important? Because that's where the balance and uniformity is set. You cannot make up for it any other time of the year. This is when you have bloom, which is the most critical period of time. That's where you really require the best weather. You can't have much frost, you can't have hail, and you can't have heavy rains, and you can't have cold, and you can't have intense heat. It really has to be a moderate growing condition. And that's what we've had so far this spring. It really has been a marvelous spring. It's coming off a wonderful winter, which was promised an El Nino winter, which means a lot of rain and boy did we ever need it because it's been a five-year drought going up to this point. What does that mean for us? We've had some wonderful years despite the drought, but during those years the water table kept sinking, 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 and our reservoirs have dried up. What El Nino did this year is filled completely, 110% most of the reservoirs around here, including uh, uh, Lake Sonoma, which carries a lot of water, and that is so important to uh, the irrigation prospects, but most importantly the frost. You need to be able to have a water table to draw from for frost protection when you have to irrigate in those cold mornings when it gets below 32 degrees. So despite all the rain that we got, still we really had no frost at all. We got some, uh, we got actually two uh, nights where we actually had to turn the sprinklers on, but overall it was just a precaution. We really had a moderate, moderate spring in terms of frost, which was amazing. That's what you want. You don't want to have freely frost damage coming into the later part of the spring that we're getting into now. Again, this is May, and now what I'm looking at is bloom time. Uh, we had bloom uh, about the same time as last year, only about a one uh, day difference that I saw in my notes. But what's unusual this year, 2016, is that the Chardonnay is about two weeks ahead of the Cabernet. Last year was exactly the same time. I always say, the harvest really is the mirror of the spring. When spring sets the table in terms of not just the uniformity, but also when the fruit is probably going to come in. If you have a difference between bloom time between the varietals, that pretty much is what's going to happen during harvest time. If it's all the same time, then all your fruit's going to be coming in at the same time. And for me, uh, harvest time is going to probably be a longer harvest, but it's going to be spread out. And it's much easier, much easier to manage a harvest that way. The weather we're seeing this year is fairly moderate, actually on the cool side. We not had a very, what I call, a damaging heat spike where all of a sudden you'll get days get up to 100 degrees. That does happen even despite it's the fact it's early spring. We have not seen that, so that's very, very important. And what we're seeing also is when I go start going through and seeing how many clusters, normally get two clusters per, per shoot, uh, we're seeing not only two clusters, but some, in some cases, three clusters per shoot which means we can always take fruit off but we can't add it back on and like last year uh, there was a huge difference between last year and this year because when I went through the same time last year in 2015 there just wasn't the many clusters and not only were there uh, fewer clusters but the clusters themselves were much smaller these clusters here are really really nice size and you're going through and I'm seeing in some cases per shoot you're seeing this beautiful round even uh, uh, at least two clusters per shoot if not three so we're going to start doing our cluster counts and what that means for us is that's our first time we get in to really do an estimate of crop so once that comes back and I know about how many clusters per vine there is then I'm able to work that into pretty much a, uh, within a 10% range of accuracy I'm able to come up with a crop estimate at that point then we'll be able to go through a little bit later on in July we're going to start dropping crop if we need to to balance out the vine and really as much as May is important to the balance it really sets that and then we can tailor that the rest of the growing season it's just a round of refinement for the rest of the growing season but this is the most important time of the whole year this is really where classical vintages are made in May.